Welcome back to Learn PHP on Code Academy. We're in the Associative Array section. This is changing and removing elements. The same syntax that adds new array elements can be used to change existing elements. Here we have new R, has this Associative Array with the key first and the value I am first, the key second and the value I am second. Here we have new R and we throw in third and we assign to it I am third. If we echo new R third, it's going to print I am third. If we do new R third and reassign it, I am the new third. If we print that out, it will print out updated. In the above code, we use the same syntax to add a key value pair, key third, value I am third, as we do to assign that key a new value. Key third is assigned I am the new third. Since PHP will allow us to add a new key value pair or change an existing value using exactly the same code, we'll need to use caution to avoid accidentally overriding an existing value. We can remove a key value pair entirely using the PHP unset function. Note, if the key used doesn't exist in the array, then nothing happens. Here we have nums is assigned this array with key one, value one, key two, value two. We echo implode, separated by a comma, nums, prints one and two, unset nums, targeting key one, if we echo implode nums separated by a comma, it prints two. In the code above, we created an associative array with two key value pairs. We then remove the pair one using the unset function. Let's practice changing and removing elements. Instructions say, we've provided an associative array, my car, with the key value pairs that relate to elements or parts of our car. Some things like our brakes seem to be in great shape, but others could use some work. Change the value associated with the key oil from its current value black and clumpy to the value new and premium. Now accomplish this task without changing the code we wrote. Let's do that now. Let's run that. We do pass. 2 says change the value associated with the key tires from its current value old with worn treads to the value new with deep treads. Note, accomplish this without changing the code we wrote. Let's do that here. Let's run that. We do pass. 3 says we love a clean car. Use the unset function to remove the filth from our car, please. Let's do that here. Let's run that. We do pass. For at the bottom of your code, use print R to print out my car so you can see all the changes made to the array. Let's do that here. Run it. We do pass and we do see our changes reflected in our second array. Oil now has new and premium. Tires now say new with deep treads and there's no more filth. So what we're learning here, changing and removing elements. We're able to reassign values inside our associative arrays as long as we target the key that we want to update and we use our assignment operator to give a new value to the key. And we're able to use unset to remove a key value from our array. Here we see we can remove a key value pair entirely using the unset function. If the key doesn't exist, nothing will happen. As long as you guys are understanding that, you guys are getting changing and removing elements, and I'll see you in the next one. Hey, quick question for you. Are you happy with your current job or career? Do you like to go to work every day and see yourself doing what you're doing right now forever? If not, I'd like to share with you a little bit about the sponsor of this video, The Programmer Coach. The Programmer Coach is an online coding program that helps people learn how to code and get a high-paying job as a software developer. Their program is unique in that they teach you how to code by doing, through practice, which is truly the only way to learn any skill at the end of the day, right? Plus, they provide you with coaches to help you whenever you run into any issues. They also have career coaching and placement services, where they work with you and help you get your first job as a software developer. And the best part, their program is affordable and accessible for anyone and everyone. That's right. You won't pay the bulk of your tuition until you actually land a job as a software developer. To learn all of the details you would ever need and get all of your questions answered, simply go to becomeaprogrammer.com. Becomeaprogrammer.com. Once again, that's becomeaprogrammer.com.